Hey guys, Richard, co-founder of Huckberry here. I'm with Randy, founder of Bringer Trailer. This holiday season, we're teaming up to give away a 1985 Toyota Land Cruiser. We're at Austin Speed Shop here today to check it out and couldn't be more excited to show it to you guys. Let's go take a look. All right. So we want to do something really special. We, every year we do a Pappy giveaway. So we give away like a Pappy 23 Reserve and our audience goes nuts for it. You know, obviously we're going to keep doing that this year, but we wanted to add on a new one and give away an adventure mobile to really blow the roof off. That's pretty big. Randy, it was fun working with you, starting with the concept of like, hey, we want to give away an adventure mobile. Mm -hmm. how, how did you start thinking about the right truck? adventure mobile for us. Yeah, well I was thinking about the Huckberry brand and what you guys stand for and you know adventure and getting people out and equipping them to do that and in talking with you guys we figured out yeah probably a four-door probably something from the 70s or 80s right you don't want like something from the early 50s that you give to somebody and it's gonna be so rudimentary that they may it may have less appeal so we landed on a couple of models and the Land Cruiser 60 series which I know there's some bias, right? I mean, I've owned one of these and you currently own one of these, but how long ago yeah. was that? Uh, January. Okay, not long. Yeah. So you're a recent owner. Recent owner and uh, yeah, it worked out great on a relative basis for a 36 year old car, mm -hmm. like in pretty good shape. Uh, nowhere near the shape of this guy, unfortunately. And this is, whew, this we, is Well, we should talk about this, this one is, and why this, this one was prime. special. Cause we yeah. talked about different options for which was gonna be the Huckberry vehicle. And right. what we wanted was a pretty tight set of characteristics to give away to somebody, right? You don't want to give somebody a bunch of trouble. We want to give them as good of an example as we could find. I love the look of, mm -hmm. of, of the Land Cruiser. It's just mm -hmm. such a classic, beautiful look. You know, there's the FJ, the FJ40, right? Yes. Which, which, you know, are probably going to take a lot more work, mm -hmm. right? And it looks super cool, maybe a little less practical, a lot more work. Yep. There's the 60, which I think is just the most classic looking, looking mm -hmm. one. This one right here, right? This one. Yep. Because they are sort of a sweet spot and can actually use them for realistic adventure. But yeah, this, this model just sort of has that resonance with people. And mm -hmm. I think that'll work with your audience too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this thing only has 88,000 miles on the clock, which means you got to pay a little more to get it, but the longevity and the condition is just, it's its really kind of night and day. Yeah. So tight. I mean, mm -hmm. you steer and it goes. Mm -hmm. uh, you shift and it shifts perfectly. Yeah. Driving it over here, feeling what it's like, feeling the originality of yeah. it is kind of what drew us to mm -hmm. this one. Um, Original engine. Factory six cylinder, factory four speed. Mm -hmm. All of these with the round headlights came with a four speed manual. Right. Uh, as you know, and but stock suspension, stock seats. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like in yours and others have modified them by now and changed them around. Right. Sometimes that's great news, but that just means that there's fewer and fewer that are like this, like the old original. The amount of originality that is still on this one and in this one is, is what's gonna, I think, make whoever uh, ends up walking away with it really psyched about it. One lucky duck, whoever yeah. wins this <laughs> well, one. Well, we both kind of want it. That's the funny part. Is yeah. I think we're excluded from the uh, from the winner pool. But... I might swap mine. Yeah, for the last don't, second. We're don't giving tell. away that, that old beat up '85 over there, and I'll take. I'll drive yeah, up. Yeah, I would very gladly. I would gladly have this as my own. I really like it. Let's, let's get a closer look at the uh, at the car. Yeah. So this is the actual one, and you were talking about the headlights earlier, and just this sort of aesthetic and look of the 60 series Land Cruiser. Yeah. That, that model came in two phases, as you know, the early one called the 60 and the slightly later one called the 62, which they changed it to rectangular headlights and all of those had automatics. These were the last of the manuals. Right. Um, and, uh, but that makes this one sort of, again, in that sweet spot of the special early look and feel that a lot of people want. I also think the 85, the 85 through 87 is a particularly good era because mm -hmm. you know the first i think they had launched in 81 mm -hmm. the first 60 was 81 mm -hmm. and so it was 81 through 84 and then they made some upgrades in 85 and like took it you know a couple of things to the next level yep. uh, so i thought there was just like a sweet spot and oh man the classic look of the circular mm -hmm. headlights mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then stock wheels. These are the these are the stock uh, chrome steel wheels that would have come on it. A lot of people mm. change the bumpers, but this has the original mm. stock chrome bumpers with end caps, which is desirable and not seen as often as you might think. Are these locking wheels? So those are called locking hubs. Locking yeah, hubs. locking okay, hubs yeah. on the front axle. Those were manual back in the day, you know, yeah. that Can came you... from the factory. So, so talk about how you would use that. Yeah, so when you shift into four-wheel drive, most of the time, Typically, people will be in two-wheel drive. Right. There's a manual lever on the on the tunnel right by the 
four speed shifter. It tells you how to get in and out of four wheel drive. This is basically you, it's an on off setting. It's either free and therefore mm -hmm. you're in two wheel drive and the mm -hmm. front wheels aren't, aren't pulling the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And then if you lock it in here, that lets basically the drive train all be locked together such that you're in full four wheel drive and can, that's good for loose surfaces, mm -hmm. for snow and that's. Sort of and, the, and the interior as well. Is we just... should, yeah, we should definitely get shots of the interior <laughs> and, and have people take a look because uh, white gray is really classic. The interiors came in two colors on these, either a brownish, right. uh, which I think yours has, and then the, the gray. You can get either on a white, but white gray is, is uh, just a really great platform that, that looks really nice on these early trucks. This one has stock seats. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, you know, the higher mile trucks, if you have 250,000 miles on your Land Cruiser, the seats are, have been sat in for a lot, a lot of miles. Yeah. On an 88,000 mile truck, the seats in this thing are super nice. Mm -hmm. The cool part about Land Cruiser is there's, there's printed instructions on the glove box that tells you how to do all this. Yeah. Uh, and then this truck also comes with the factory manuals and stuff to tell you how to do it, which I know you like. Yeah. Sort of stuff. So to put in a four wheel, you're using the, uh, the shifter. Correct and then you're coming out and clicking the, the hubs over? Correct, you okay. have to do both of those. You can do them in either order, but, yeah. uh, but it's a two-step process like yeah. that. But I'd say about 1990 and older vehicles, mm -hmm. this was the typical way to do it, right? Yeah. In, the, in the next phases of Land Cruisers that came and pickup trucks and all that stuff, it went to a little more user-friendly, more electronics. This car doesn't have a ton of electronics, as you know, there's None. a lot of, <laughs> You know, manual windows, right. four speed that you shift yourself. If you leave, there's no beep if you leave the lights on. There's no warning. I've you made gotta, that mistake a couple of times. <laughs> You've got to, yeah, with these older vehicles and even, you know, 80s vehicles, uh, there's a little bit more responsibility on the owner to remember how to do some of this sort of stuff. That, that, that's a great way to put it, Randy. Yeah, it's it's not telling you how to, how to live your life, mm -hmm. right? Yep, and that's, that's part a, of the adventure component, absolutely. I think, yeah. is that uh, it's more engaging, right? When you're shifting gears, you're not like texting going down the road. You're, right. you're engaged in this sort of adventure experience. And that's true if you're driving across town or that's true if you're heading to the Rockies. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't agree more that, I mean, that was a big reason why I got it was, I, you know, I sit behind a computer screen for yep. hours and hours and hours every day and I wanted something analog. Yep. And this thing just represents that, you know, it's yep. everything about it. I think that's true of yours, and I think that's true of a stock one like this. Yeah. Let's check out the inside. Yeah, let's get in. Hop what, in over here. I'll jump, I'll jump in the driver's seat. All right. There's a lot of sort of preserved components on this particular one, which is when we saw it on the pictures in BAT, I was like, guys, like, you're not going to see another one like this. We see them every once in a while, but, you know, we knew we wanted it for this time frame and and this sort of spec, so so it, it really works out well. But it's not perfect, right? There's a you know crack or two in the dash, right, right. and it's it's got a little bit of wear here and there. But in general, as 60 series go, this one, I mean, you you can't go right. You let me go. I had a grin on my face this morning when you let me drive it, right? And it uh, it's actually a throwback for me too, because I had one of these uh, 15 or so years ago, and it, this reminds me of all of that those experiences that we had in it. So I think other things to, to touch on are, yeah, originality of the, of the door panels. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the carpets. Yeah. Um, they did upgrade the speakers, which I think is a nice touch, actually. Yeah, I think they did it well. Sometimes you'll yeah. see that done, you know, in really a hack sort of fashion. And this, this is clean, and a lot of people want tunes with their adventure, so kind of old school with the CD player, right? But that, that's what people did in the you know, yeah. 90s and 2000s. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I, I appreciated was, um, like, the keys aren't in, but um, when, you, when you put on the, uh, um, the, the rear wipers, okay. they worked. Yeah. Yeah, the like features, the, I haven't gone through the, every the, single thing the, yet. The, the vast majority of, the, of these little features, if you're just buying a, a Land Cruiser, just a, an average Land Cruiser, like, yeah. that's not working. Some things may not that work. That heater's not working, that yep. AC's not working, and, and yep. I've played with this a lot, Okay. <laughs> and everything works. That's cool. It's, 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 uh, it's so cool. Yeah, that's great. I mean, there's, there's a lot of features on here that sometimes you use them, sometimes you don't, but the fact that they're all in this kind of condition, right? The light comes on when you hit the defrost. The e-brake the e light works. I was driving over here watching the gauges and they're all working properly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so again, to, to give a vehicle away um, to your audience, which is so special and such a cool Huckberry moment, um, you really want as much of it to be right as possible. Is it going to be perfect? Perfect? Probably not. Yeah. But is it is it going to you know get the job done for that sort of adventure inspiration? I think it's the right one for that. I agree. And the uh, nice little touches here, like an original 1985 owner's manual. So cool. You can see how it's like worn down, right? If this doesn't come in the truck, 
it will be in my draft. No, 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 no. You can't take it. But hold on. If we look at this, oftentimes they'll like there's stuff written in it, right? Oh my god. Like gosh. here's like the person who bought it or sold it. That's part of the story, and it's been it's been kept together, which I think is really neat. All right. Well, she looks pretty good on the inside. Should we take a look under the hood? Yeah. You said you want to pop the hood and take a look. Let's do it. So again, we decided on this one in particular to get as you know an, an original layout as we can. So this is a factory um, Toyota six-cylinder straight six, different than what's in your truck, um, and backed by the four-speed. And again, with the low miles, uh, it'd almost be a shame if this had been swapped out for something else, given the truck is, and its originality. On a relative basis, this this looks really clean, mm -hmm. really clean. I mean, mine has oil, you know, mm -hmm. oozing out of different places and everything. So, so Randy, back to the point around there's not a lot of electronics in this in this car, right? Like this, this like this engine, like if you're handy with the wrench, you can work on it anywhere. Well, that was kind of what made this vehicle and this model famous, right? Being out in, you know, Africa or the, the desert somewhere or Australia, mm -hmm. these were really popular because uh, not only the reliability of the engine, but the relative simplicity of this sort of setup back in the back in the 80s. This was before it was all computer controlled and mm -hmm. just sort of you open the hood and it's a real mystery. This one, it's pretty, what you see is what you get. You can see there's a bunch of room in here yep. and that's why a lot of people work on them themselves. But you can also find specialists. Uh, if this goes to somebody that wants to have someone else work on it, it's really pretty easy to find somebody that can work on this vehicle. Right. Let's, uh, let's check out the cargo bed. You bet. So one of my favorite things about the wagon model is the upper and lower tailgate. Mm -hmm. It's just a really usable, neat sort of uh, vintage way that you would get in and out of these. It has the drop gate. You can sit on it. You can take it to the, the ball game. You know, you can take it out and your camp stuff can be really easily accessible. Mm -hmm. And pretty good storage in the back of these too. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I love the fold down tailgate. Like, you know, put a Coleman grill there mm -hmm. when you're camping, cook up. It's mm -hmm. a natural sort of bench. and. And you can even, if you want, you can fold the seats down, right? Yep. And then, you know, you can put a sleeping bag in there. Yep. And I happen to be just short enough to fit in there perfectly, <laughs> laying down. Uh, you might have to go at an angle or something if yeah. you're a little taller. But no, you can definitely do that. I did that with mine back in the day, yep. uh, you know, down at the beach or, or however you're going to do it. But that's why another reason why these are um, just sort of sought after by a lot of folks, that usability of... Uh, imagine all the Huckberry stuff you can throw in the back of here, right? I oh, mean, yeah. uh, when you're going on your adventures, wherever that may be, it's uh, it's perfect for that. Yeah, yeah. The, du the double tailgate is just mm -hmm. like surprisingly awesome. And again, if we're talking about condition in this truck in particular, right? Uh, when you're you know vetting a vehicle on Bring a Trailer or any anywhere in the marketplace, you start looking. You know, you you open things up. You look in the seams. You look at the bottom of these tailgates. Uh, on the, the Land Cruisers that have had a really tough life, you'll see rust, mm. you'll see repairs, you'll see a color change. It's like, oh, it didn't start white and now it's wet, right? The tailgate's in perfect shape and uh, you know, you look at the glass and the rubber and how it all goes together. It's just yeah. really, it's all really in nice shape. So, man, what a great truck. Just just so mint um, and I, I love it. Whoever, whoever wins this is, is one lucky duck. Um, but I'll tell you what, you have resold me on my truck and, and I couldn't be more excited for, uh, you know, for where she is and the adventures ahead and, you know, I've got a lot of work, but it is just, it's a, it's an awesome vehicle to own. Well, maybe we should get in this one and take one last ride. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>